Hello everyone, we are going to go and do all the deer photograph locations around New Dawn. Now, you can start the side quest as soon as you get the prosperity, and you can also buy maps to the locations from the cartography section with ethanol if you've upgraded it to that point. But I'm just going to show you the nine locations anyways. That's a really good chance to see the before and after of Hope County. It's a really good indicator of how much they've changed this game. So our first one is going to be John Seed's old ranch from Far Cry 5. It's actually Prosperity. So you go to the location here and here's how it's going to work. You just walk up to the camera, hold up on the D-pad and you'll draw out the photo and you just have to match it and align it with the structure that's currently there. So bam, there you go. That's John Seed's ranch before and after. So let's go and check out Ryan Daughter Aviation, see what it looks like now and see what it used to look like. So again, go to this location on the map, walk up to the camera, hold up the D-pad. Uh, and there's a person running for his life. I don't know what's chasing him, but it must be important. But you can see the house looks completely different now. So it's not just a, a small reskin of the game that they did here in New Dawn. So let's go take a look at Falls End Water Tower. Falls End, of course, one of the major hubs and important places in Far Cry 5. We spent a lot of time there. As you can see, there is what remains of the water tower. Now there's a plane at the top of it for some reason. So match that up, and that is our third photograph location. So let's go take a look at Bridge of Tears. It's kind of in the middle of the map here. Obviously, we're going to be taking a uh, look at the bridge before and after. That's what it looks like now. Doesn't look like much. So holding up the photograph. Now, for some reason, I had a little difficulty getting this to line up. Maybe I was holding up on the D-pad still. Maybe I forgot to let go. I'm not entirely sure what it was. A few seconds later, I was able to get it to line up and, of course, get attacked by a wild animal at the same time. But let's move on to Garden View Orchards. You see, this is currently an outpost now. And there it is. Time has not been too kind to this location, but that's what it used to look like. It was such a happy little orchard. All right, so the Holland Valley Grain Elevator, again, converted into another outpost. This doesn't really look much like it used to. You would probably hardly recognize it, but there it is. Used to be a beautiful place, but now, speaking of beautiful places, the Macedon Geothermal Park. You wouldn't even recognize it anymore. So just go fast travel over this location if you have the fast travel unlocked, of course. Take out photo. No more Mastodons, unfortunately. That's number seven on our list. Number eight, we're going to go to Joseph Seed's compound. Kind of on the northern part of the map. No, the building still remains, but it is not in very good shape. And water has somehow formed around. So line that up. Cool little side quest. I do got to give uh, props to them for doing that. Of course, we're going to earn the before trophy for completing this. And our last one is going to be McKinley Dam. So let's go ahead and take a photo of that. Unfortunately, the dam is no longer uh, really in one piece. As you can clearly see, it's not holding any water back. Probably why certain areas are now flooded, but there it is. And that'll earn you the before trophy. And there's also one little surprise for me, at least. Maybe it will be for you. But there's the before trophy. And surprise, there's the platinum trophy. I want to thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. And of course, if you're a trophy hunter, subscribe.